What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mose to the joke. So we're gonna do another install today. So we're gonna hopefully we're gonna get this thing filmed correctly because I am doing this on my new camera, which I got a GoPro Hero 7 Black. So I'm gonna be trying this thing out so we can get some POV of me installing my uh, access port mount and my access port. All right, so we have our access port and let's uh, open this up here too. here and we got our diode mounts for that's our docking station so we're gonna use this and it's gonna pretty much be for the defrost so this is gonna go on the defrost so we got to do oh it's 3d print this thing looks nice I like it. so let's get into what we're about to do here okay y'all so we are back all right so the first thing i need to do here is just grab something to pry all this stuff off of your width so I don't mind that so okay so I think the first thing we're supposed to do is we need to take this off so let's figure out how I'm gonna get this out go. of here oh there we go huh. I think we got it all right so we got that first panel off All right, so now from here, let's go ahead and let's pop this bad boy out right here. So I wonder if I can, if I can get it this way. No, let's see if I can get it this way, get behind it, and see if I can. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, that wasn't too bad either. Man, I need to get y'all some of these. These little tools is nice. All right. So next up, we're gonna take the screw out right here. <clears throat> and we take this screw out. Looks like we're gonna be having a bunch of bloopity bloops around this bad boy. So while I'm doing all of this, and we're trying to take this stuff out of here, let's, I think that, so all I need to do is get this out. There we go. And that looks like that came off there. And that comes off of there, there we go. Well, cool. Well, there we go. So now let's take all this stuff out. So we're going to take this here out. And see if we can get a good look at this. There we go. So at this point, well, we can do this part later. At this point, let's take out the, uh, let's get out the actual access point. Access point, access port. And I think we need, this is our cable. All right. So I'm pretty sure y'all seen plenty of unboxings on that. This is me trying to struggle through this. This is our OBD connection and our connection to the actual access port. All right, so we'll pull that out like that there. Oh, here we go. So it looks like we come up. Let me see if I can get down in here. Oh, this is a tight squeeze. It's hard working in the garage, y'all. And I got the wrong shoes on. So right there, we want to go right up in there. And that's a clear shot right on up into here. All right, so let me just pull this up here and just let it hang right there. And then we'll go into... Uh, Trying to get this little base part put on here. So let's get those through. Okay, so we got the two screws there. Those are enough, so let's put that there for right now. And these should. Artlist I.O.
started. Let me get this in the way it's at least even with the bottom there. There we go. So now at this point, we'll come back to using this here Allen. All right, so I'm gonna put the actual cord through here and then let's go ahead and so let's see this is facing this way and this goes in this way doesn't matter screws out or should it be that way and go in that way okay so to pick which one of these I'm supposed to go with so maybe that does it matter? Let me see. So I can put them in there because it seems it's directional. It's in there. And then it comes out. Cool. So like I said, it has these two. So that's seems oh, so it's gonna be the smaller of the two for me if you got the V3 one. So it's got a, a large one. It's got a large one and a smaller one, so you want to use the smaller one to actually put your uh, your access, I mean your your cable in. So at that point, you pull all of that down. You can pull your slack down at that point, and then it should just go right on in here and snap into place. Let's see. Or maybe I got it on the wrong side. Let's see if we, maybe we go that way let's see does it go in that way all right y'all looks like i had to i had to take this thing back out i finally found that tool because i thought I, it freaking slid behind the seat so basically it's it faces to the back like that so let's push it all the way down in there okay let's see i believe it should just it should snap right down in there, right? All right, man. It looked like I finally got this thing in here, man. This was like, I think because it's 3D printed, the little tab on this side looked like it had too much material there. So, you know, I used a razor and I kind of like scraped away at it a little bit just so that this thing will go all the way, go in there. All right. So it looks like we're in. We test it out and we. Oh shit. I'll put it in there and the boy not coming out. So let's pull it out of there. Alright, so now let's get back in here. Oh shoot. And let's pull the slack out of here and push this down. And let's try and get this thing back in here again. <laughs> List.io Got through all of that. So what I wound up doing is I put this back on. I took the wires right behind here, behind this little fuse box thing right here. So the cables are down in there. So now we can just put this panel back on. And oh wait, hold on. All right, so we're gonna slide him in there. <laughs> There we go. We are good to go now. So now, all right, y'all. So now that we got that part of it done, let's see if we can get through this, uh, marrying this thing to the car. So I think all you gotta do, it's already, I've already updated this thing. I've already updated it and um, got the firmware updated on it and uh, downloaded the tune from MA Performance. So it's already on here. Dang it, camera, come on. Okay, so now all we gotta do is plug this thing, plug it into this, put it in this cradle. And then let's see what happens from there. So let's see, let's see what it tells us to do. So okay. Accept or go forward, cancel or do not. What? Button help. Okay. Let's just 
So we're gonna hit OK. So install the XOX Tour to my vehicle. We're gonna say OK. Shit, it's my bad, y'all. It says select the map. So we're gonna do the Z. Let me see. In Maple Point, we're just gonna do the uh, stage zero. So we're gonna do stage zero because that's what's going to warning installation of this expo port. Orient OM call. Please contact her for support. Okay. 10 amp car battery. Uh, we're already on the charger. And we are already on the charger. So let's say okay. Next we'll say is the factory ECU data. So now we're going to go through this process. Oh shit, no, hang on. Too much light here. There we go. So now we're at the point where it says do not turn off the vehicle or unplug access port. Please wait while export uh, where it's flashing the vehicle. So we'll come back when that's done. It says turn the ignition, leave in the off an off position to begin vehicle realization. So it's in the off position. It says turn the key to the on position so that the exit port can command the rest of the procedure. Okay. Installation successful. Turn the ignition key to the office for at least 15 seconds before starting the vehicle. So, while we're waiting, I just want to go back to what I was saying before that uh, the customer service and everything from uh, MA Performance, man, that, that, that was excellent, man. I really appreciate working with uh, Kyle, man. He was patient, man. He answered my questions. He got back to me quick. If I, I sent him an email or, or he sent me an email have him, uh, to try and get back to me because I had another question, man, he got back to me within the same day. So... Uh, Big shout out to uh, Kyle, man. Appreciate your help, bro. And uh, if anybody else, y'all want to try and get anything from me, performance, man, I'll link his his uh, contact information, like his extension and all of that stuff, and the phone number to get to him in the description box. So uh, I think we should be past our 15 seconds now. So let's see where we at. Let's let's start the car and see what happens. Hopefully we good. We in neutral. All right, y'all. So Appreciate y'all hanging in there with me for this video, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, let you so it let you know whenever I drop a video, you'll get that info. You get that info. And uh, as always, man, I leave all my stuff, anything that I got, you know, like that contact info and all of that. I leave link that in the, in the description below. To, to sum up the video, y'all, uh, I'm gonna leave it in. Uh, stock form for right now because I just want to get a baseline of all of the readings as they come in before I before I do um, Artless I.O. Yeah. So that way then I can uh, do some data. I mean just see what all the readings are stock and then at that point I'll probably ride like that for like a week and then after that I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll upload the uh, MA Performance map and then we'll see how it goes. Cause really the car just been sitting for a whole week. I ain't really drove it at all. Cause you know, the weather been kind of crazy and I wanted to do some stuff on the car before I drove it out there and all the elements. But, uh, so until then, man, appreciate y'all. Thank you for taking the time out to watch my video. All the new subscribers, man, welcome to the channel. Appreciate y'all. 
Let's keep growing. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and you'll get all, whenever I put a video out, it'll let you know and, let you, and you can check my stuff out, man. Like, throw me some comments in there. Let me know what you think. Until next time, man, peace.